Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Francis. I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. Got my grape Capri pants, my pewter sandals, black socks, blue or purple polka dot shirt. And I got my polka dot fingernail polish. Green. Anyway, I don't have any purple polka dot polish yet, but maybe I'll get some. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you something. Uh, still got a little bit of Johnny Walker left. Uh, I pretty much laid off for like a week and a half, and uh, hey, I've been sipping on it a little bit. It, it was down to about here. You know, I drank from here down to here, and then... As you can see, I've been, you know, I've, I've probably had like just take little sips once in a while. But I, I was off this for a week. I didn't. Not even a shot, just a little sip. Just to wet your whistle. Tastes pretty good. It's good sipping scotch. And, uh,. Anyways, I forgot to mention a couple things uh, in my last video. Um, you know, I was I was home in for the night. It was dark, almost dark out, and um, I got this lipstick. It's called Neon Red, right? Whatever, Maybelline. So I put some lipstick on last night. Okay, all right. I'll just show you. I didn't have a lot on. Just a little, you know. So when my son was here, you know, I mean, it was, you know, it was a little out, outside the outer lip, you know. But, I mean, I was just like, but I didn't have any other uh, makeup on, you know, because I had taken a shower and, what well, I mean, I just took a shower this morning. Okay, yeah, right, right, right. But I'd gone in the pool yesterday, so, you know, I was a little, you know. Anyway, so, anyways, after all this phone bullshit happened. Um, he asked me, uh, he, he said, he made a comment about my lips. He says, uh, hey, what are you doing, clowning around with, with the lipstick or something? I, and I looked at him, I went, what? So, you know, I had totally forgotten that I had lipstick on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe I had a little bit of eyebrow whatever, I don't know, but I think I had washed the eyes, I had some eye makeup on yesterday, but I think I washed it off before I went out, yeah, I think I did, I washed it off before I went to the laundry room, so I really, you know, so, um, anyways, I say, uh, see you later, you know, bye, have a nice life, you know, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, he, could, he he wouldn't have come over here and checked on me unless my sister and mother had called him or, you know, my mother called my sister saying that he couldn't get a hold of me and he wouldn't have come over here. He only came over here because, he, you know, my sister asked him to design. So, and then he's giving me this cheesy comment about my lipstick and like, well, what the hell has that got to do with anything? He thinks I'm clowning around. Right. So, well, that, that's his attitude, okay? It's his attitude. You know, I'm just a clown, okay? You know, I, I'm wearing these uh, clothes, and I'm, uh, and I'm wearing lipstick now. You know, what's, what's the next thing to happen, right? And he thinks it's all a big joke. Well, you know what? It ain't a joke. So, and anybody that thinks it is, well, see you. Have a nice life. I don't need your bullshit. You know, I, I lived all my life as a living sacrifice for my family and doing things. And I tried to do things the way you ought to. And I was a good parent and supported my kids until they decided to leave and left me behind. And my ex-wife left me 23 years ago. So and I ain't going to rant about that. But you know what? Every seems like everybody in my life just kind of walked out of me. And you know what? I don't care what you think anymore, okay? You know, 
all these people that they, they think in their boxes, you know, that they got all everything's in a little box, you know, and you know, and and they, and they're just like interpreting life according to the the book of rules in their box, and and you know, and if they run into somebody where that doesn't apply, well, they just like make fun and criticize. Well, if that's all, if you're just gonna make a joke, fine, you know, maybe he'll repent and come back and say, Dad, I'm sorry about a comment I made. I probably, you know, and I'll say, well, I forgive you. No problem. But, you know, if he is, if he can't uh, humble himself enough to come over here and say, hey, that was a cheesy comment. I'm sorry. You don't deserve that. Well, then forget it. I don't need to talk to him ever again. And I mean it. You know, I'm sorry. I, I've been kicked around for 60 years, and I ain't getting kicked around anymore. So that's it. If you don't like me the way I am now, well, that's too bad. Okay, and that's all I have to say about it. You know, I'll just move on. So I was—I've been thinking about this for a long time, for the last week or so. You know, it's like, you know, what's the difference between me being dead? Okay, in their minds, that's what way I am. I already died. You know, they don't want to deal with me. So if that's the way they think, well then, hey, I'm dead. I died. You know, I ain't the same person. That person you knew died. He doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so I'm the new me. And if you can't accept the new me, well, that's too bad. You know, bye. Have a nice life. That's my attitude. And maybe that's pretty crass and cruel, but you know what? No, it isn't. Because a lot of people walked out of my life 14 years ago, it just left me, you know, and they didn't give a damn about the way I felt, okay? So, you know what? I'm done caring, okay? So, you know, and my two little granddaughters, I love them to death, but, you know, I mean, you know, See, they have true love. It's not biased or corrupted by this world and, and the, these religious people that turn against people. You know, you know. So there's too many people still trying to live according to the law of Moses. You know, and I don't have a problem with the Ten Commandments. I, you know, it's just that all this other bullshit that they, they, they pile on and they say, "Oh, you can't do this." Blah, 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 blah. You know, there's no grace anymore. It's like you know, and then they, they you know, they, they 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 want you to support them and uh, put money in the offering plate and all this stuff. And you know, I don't have a problem with that either. But I'm not going to support some uh, church that's like, to me, being very ungracious towards certain people. You know, I'm not going to donate to that. And unfortunately, the church that my son goes to is Southern Baptist, and and they're controlled by the Southern Baptist Convention, and I disagree with a lot of the things that they put out and, and how they practice things. You know, they have pastors that run the church, and I don't agree with that at all, okay? Their whole church government thing's all messed up, okay? They don't have elders. They have deacons that go around and do what the pastor tells them to, you know, and I, I, I got away from churches like that over 20 years ago. You know, that is not to me. That's Nicolaitans, and Jesus hates it. He talks about it in Revelation. So, you know, they, they just don't want to admit it. You know, they, they say, oh, that means something else. Yeah, right, bullshit. No, it doesn't mean something else. It means victory over the people. There's, there's, there's religious authorities that want to take charge, and there's this clergy laity thing, and I'm totally against that, okay? You know, Jesus never had that, okay? So, you, know, you can call it what you like, but I don't agree with it. I never will, so. Bye. <laughs> Live long and prosper. You have free will to do what you want to do, and I have free will to do what I want to do. And you know what? I don't have to answer to anybody else except for one person up in heaven. And as long as I do what I feel he wants me to do, that 
He's the only one I have to answer to. And that's all I have to say. Okay, love you. Bye. Ten minutes. Ooh.